John Pellew, the referee. Another okay. big crowd in Thank you. for this First Wednesday three. at the English Jack Open. To break. No one's won more home nations titles than Judd Trump. Six he's won. He's been in nine finals over the previous eight years. And in 29 home nations events, he's reached the last 16 round 21 times. That's the round he's trying to reach today. So all the signs point to more success for him. But Matt Selt played very well against Ricky Walden a couple of centuries. And he does not lack self-confidence. So... He has every reason to believe he can cause an upset. Joe Johnson alongside me. We saw some upsets yesterday, Joe, and who knows who will be left at the end of today. Well, it was interesting. <clears throat> Good afternoon, David. Good afternoon, everybody. It was interesting what Matt said earlier, that he could be due a win. Oh, Judd Trump. As already has been said, 12-3 to Trump in the head-to-head. -head. Uh, just Lewis, catching six, the pink there, just Trump. missing the red that he intended to hit. I mean, he's a heavy scorer, Matt Selt. He's one short of 200 century breaks to his name. Just missed the red. That's why he caught the pink. And as David said, he's not short of confidence, this man. That's out. Talked to him a lot yes. during you, the lockdown John. when we were at Sheffield together. And, yeah, he's, he, he talks a very good game, plays a very good game. And number 33 in the world, so he's, he's on the verge of... Getting into the top 16, a good run in a tournament. Could see him there. Excellent shot. Well, it's good that he got his cue sorted because he, he turned up in round, it was broken, and he sort of got it cobbled together again, but he had to go and get it prepared properly or repaired properly. He, he did let his emotions get to him, though, in that tournament because he actually. He was 4-3 down to Pang Zhang Zhu and with 13 reds on conceded and that was the end of the match so that's a big test of course in snooker if something goes wrong he missed a, a pot and just shook hands and obviously the game's hard enough without beating yourself I'm sure he regrets that now I can only say that we've all felt that way. <laughs> Breaking cues, conceding early. But you've got to carry on, I'm afraid. Bite the bullet. Trump always seems so well prepared for matches. We saw him working with his brother Jack. They, they really do put the work in, even after a success. The success is sort of parked, and then it's on to the next tournament. We saw that here last year, didn't we? He won this, got on the plane to Wuhan in China, literally the next day, won that tournament. And then there was a week's break, and then he won the next tournament in Belfast. I think he's the only man to have won six tournaments in a single year. I think Henry had won five previously. Yeah, and that just shows that relentlessness that you associate with the, the Hendries and the, and the Davises. You know, nothing's ever enough. And, and that's a great sort of uh, secret, really, for Trump. He doesn't really rank the tournaments. He sees a trophy and he wants to win the trophy, whatever the event. Well, 
Oh, playing thick off the reds there, and I don't think he had much choice. He's opened the reds up and got a very good cue ball tight to the ball cushion. And that has put pressure on the shot from that salt. Good shot, he says. I'm trying to think of an escape for him, but it's difficult. The black is just in the way of coming off the two cushions, landing up into the back of the pack, which could have been an option. Had a go at the pot, tried to pot his way out of trouble. But he has left an opening for Judd. Fortunately, the black has gone down the other end of the table, tight to the cushion. Pink's tied up. One. He's certainly always shown respect to these home nations event and events and the, the Northern Isle Open 2018 that was the pivotal one really in his career because Six. prior to that he had won tournaments but he was quite sporadic as a winner and he arrived in Belfast he'd not won a tournament Seven. for a year and since then including that one so we're not even six years ago it was November 2018 so not even six years ago including that one he's won 21 ranking titles in that period 29 in total for his career And that was the start of having Jack on board as well, just keeping him on the straight and narrow around events and doing all the sort of admin, getting him on the flights and booking the 13. hotels, all that stuff that needs doing. So Trump can just focus on playing. In fact, I was sat by <laughs> Jack in Riyadh when Judd played Sean Murphy, which was a very dramatic match. It went down to the last few balls in the decider. And he, he didn't say a word, and he didn't move, but his face 18. betrayed every emotion. He was living every shot. He kept himself quiet and still, but you could see he was going through agonies. 19. Yeah, certainly done him the world of good, his brother. I can tell you it's always good to have somebody with you. Just a little too far for the blue. He'd have liked to have played the blue and opened the reds up. Try and develop the pink. Well, this is awkward for a natural right-hander. He may play it right-handed, but it's awkward, this. Just run on that little bit too far. There's the switch to the right hand. Yeah, thought better about it. It's a tough shot, that, for a natural. And that's a good recovery. Didn't try and get the right side of the blue, just tried to get onto it. Didn't intend to hit the green. And that's end of break. 27. Judd Trump, 27. Yeah, he had to work hard for that 27, 33 in front.
Four tables here, and uh, there's a lot of interesting matches. Si Jia Wei on table two against Yang Jun, who's in his first last 32. Sak Surety, who's a, a Essex man, he beat Nopin Senkam. He's up against Ben Wollaston, who beat Mark Williams yesterday. And Fang Zheng Yi, maximum man in the qualifying, he's up against Oliver Lyons. Yeah, that's a good attacking safety, isn't it? Covering the red near the right corner. And again, pressure on Max Elk to get this safe. He hasn't done, so another chance for Trump. Trump's safety has been excellent so far, keeping his opponent in trouble. Yeah, he, he's just become the complete player, hasn't he? I mean, the scoring... He's pretty savage. He's made more centuries than anyone this season, 17. But the discipline, the tactical awareness, the patience, all of that, it's all come together for Judd Trump. And allied with the work that, he's, that he does that we've mentioned as well, explains to a large degree the success he's having. He actually said Five. at the tournament in China in Xi'an, he said, I want it more than everyone else. I'm prepared to work harder. Six. Yeah, all those things you mentioned, certainly great attributes. But I think his mental strength has improved more than anything else as well. He said in the interview he recognises certain situations now. Well, he may have to play the plant here, unless he can see that enough of the red. Twelve. Yep, you can. Thirteen. Awkward cue in though for the pink. Oh, well. Wow. What about that for a shot? Hampered over the red, stunning the pink into the middle. Terrific 19. recovery shot. Twenty. Again, right in the middle of the pocket. <laughs> Never looked that in the have done without hitting the black there, although it's not too bad a kiss, is it? 25. Yeah, just catching the knuckle has at least brought the cue ball a little away from the cushion. Twenty-six. So, check of the scores, he's going to need another red. Had a good look at this red, see if it goes. He thinks it does. Thirty-three. And that should take care of this opening frame. And he's played a very good frame, Trump. Kept his opponent under real pressure. Blackboard. Yeah, I mean Selt's seen very little.
40. Max Silt, if he doesn't pop the red, may still play on first frame. Let's get a feel of conditions, maybe. Well, he's knocked it in, so that's the end of that. 41. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> what a pop down the cushion that was. Judd Trump, 41 on frame. Yeah, so he dominated the frame, didn't he? In every department, looked very sharp. And Judd Trump, the world number one, takes frame number one. Matthew Selt to break. It's not so much that Matt Selt didn't pot a ball in frame one. He didn't really see one. Judd Trump controlled things really well. He's often running best of seven for a place in the last 16 of the English Open. Of course, Trump won the first two legs of the Home Nations series last season. And whoever does the best this season in the four events will collect a £150,000 bet victor bonus. So that will be on the line at the Welsh Open next year. There's another bonus as well. If anyone makes, or the first player to make 100 centuries this season, it's only been done twice. Neil Robertson and Judd Trump were the two, but that will also maybe focus a few minds as the campaign goes on. Yeah, it's 17 centuries already, Trump, and he's on his way for sure. And again, look, he's got Matt Selt in all kinds of trouble here. There's reds on the left side of the table that he's got to be very careful of not making contact with. brought the red down the table needs a bit of luck We've got a very good cue ball though to be fair to him that's where he played the cue ball yeah he's a good safety player I think Matt Sell and of course he's grown up in this Essex region with the, the likes of Steve Davis and the great players in this area Just to say, Oliver Lyons, who also is in a great area for snooker at the Northern in Leeds, he's made a 1-2-5 first frame against Fang Shengi. The winner of that match plays whoever comes through this one. Another good crowd in. Got quite a few here just gone midnight last night to see the Brussel hamilton match through to conclusion. On that right hand side on the cue ball to try and dodge the reds he's made contact with them and an easy open up for Trump well you got a feel for Matt Seltz at the moment it's a, f a frame in a bit and he hasn't had a, a look in at any kind of a pot he's just been in trouble each time he's come to the table Loads of check on the cue ball. Try and go back down for the blue or even beyond the black. But the full ball kiss on the red left this blue very difficult. but couldn't avoid the green. Six. Tried to, with lots of left-hand side on the cue ball.
very close. Judge Trump's six. Great attempt. But again, still nothing for Mark Selk to go at. Nothing easy, that is. <laughs> Very close. Good attempt. Yeah, he just wants to get in, and, and if he can, then the pressure's on to stay and just keep Trump away from this table. And Trump will be aware as well that Selk can be a bit hot-headed, you know, he, he won't mind sort of trying to frustrate him a little bit. It's all part of the game. You're not there to do anyone favours. Well, it just shows you how much respect he's got for Matt Selk, because I thought he was going to take that red on to the green pocket, leave the cue ball near the middle pocket, couldn't leave anything but the red he was playing. And he doesn't want to give Matt any chance to settle in this match. This is a half chance for Matt Selt. Refused that last red into the green pocket and played the double on that one. <coughs> Has it come far enough? Zhaoyi has uh, won the opener against Zhang Jun, because Xi Zhaoyi semi-finalist in Riyadh, in the top 16 now. So, becoming more and more dangerous. And uh, it'd be a, if he does come through, that'd be a cracker against Mark Selby tomorrow. Good speed on the cue ball. Puts pressure on the next shot from Judd Trump. And that's a better safety from Matt Selt.
think he's trying to land up to the red below the pink. And he couldn't have played that any better, could he? Trying to cover those two reds, three reds below the pink to stop the return safety, but hasn't managed it. Oh, what a fortunate kiss that was. He was going to be leaving reds on there. Slight raise of the hand. I'm sure Matt feels a lot better now. It's amazing all these little nudges. They're all logged away in a player's mind. He didn't need the raise of the hand. Matt would have seen that. That's logged. Ben Wollaston 1 0 up on uh, Zach Surety. Ben, of course, beat Mark Williams yesterday. So, so typical home nations day really a lot of big hitters and also players in the mid rankings who got opportunities to really progress in this tournament As Trump knocks in the long one you saw Sell. he looked a bit concerned he knew he'd left the chance he'd be more concerned now yeah terrific long pot wasn't it lots of left hand side on the cue ball to avoid those reds near the black spot and he's got the ideal position on the blue, brown or yellow. He'd like to get the blue back on its spot, but I think he's a little straight. Or maybe even the wrong side. Four. And that hasn't worked out. Played for the pink. So, just the safety. And that was a good chance. Be disappointed he didn't make more Double. from that. Jed Trump, four. Yeah, so not too much damage done, but again, sell. <laughs> Nothing to go at here. Yeah, and the only red you can see, it's very difficult to play safe off these type of reds when they're close to the cushion. Dead easy to miss the ball, catch it thick. Oh, and a miss. Doesn't Four, want to leave a free run. ball. Free oh, ball. dear. That's a nightmare. Very unfortunate to have Blue left ball. a free ball. One. He wouldn't have been too bothered about missing the ball, Matt Selt. But leaving a free ball certainly bothered him. Sam. Eight. Four. 
14. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty one. Quite happy to leave the black tied up for the moment. Could have played a cannon to the red and black a couple of times. But he can win the frame with the pink and blue. Twenty seven. He made a clearance for the ages against Mark Williams to win that Saudi tournament. It would have been a great clearance to win a frame, but <laughs> with everything on the line, nine each in the final, £300,000 difference between winning and losing, and a big crowd watching and people watching around the world, it was uh, phenomenal, really. 34. 35. Yes, and the red that he started off with in that break, the red to the left middle, cute angle, just knocked it in as though it was easy. 41. So Matt Selt has had basically two half chances, two reds to go at, neither straight forward. Other than that, he's not seen a ball. 42. 48. So another red and a big colour. That's how it's going to need snookers. It held Joe its Trump, line, didn't it? He expected it just to dip slightly, but it didn't. Held its line, so there's still life in this frame. That's where you normally play the red too when you play in the middle pockets. Expecting it just to dip ever so slightly. But on that occasion it didn't. But he wasn't left an easy red. He needs an easy starter. This is the red again. Look, it held its line all the way across the table. There's hardly any nap at all on this cloth. Well, that's so he didn't want to disturb those two reds near the, the cushion. Playing it with such force and screw. And still the difficulty of the shot. But again, nothing easy left for Matt Selt. That red to the middle looks easy on TV, but I can assure you it's not. Again, he just wasn't left with anything straightforward. Still can't get in. It's, what, 35 minutes now, this match. Still yet to pot one. Yes, and Judd Trump determined not to leave him an easy chance. He could have took the red down the cushion, could have played it right-handed or with the rest, but he knew he was leaving the red by the middle pocket if he'd have took that on and missed it. I'm 
so important to keep your opponent cold if you can. Meanwhile, Si Jia Wei's made 109 to lead Zhang Zhun 2 0, so that's the 50th century of the tournament. You can see them there on the left hand side on table two. chance and that's all it is a half chance it's a thin cut to the corner Never easy for length of the table. So another chance for Trump to wrap this frame up. Yeah, the blue would put him 68 in front with 67 left on. So it's taken a little bit of winning, but has just not had any easy starters, can't quite convert the half chances, and Trump doing enough, playing a disciplined game to get to 2 0 and halfway to victory already. Six. Seven. I mean, it's been an amazing season already. Three tournaments before this one two trophies and a runners-up spot. So the only player who's actually beaten him is Karen Wilson in the final in Jian. 12. 13. 19. 19. Yeah, one-sided, for sure. Judge from 19 and, and the leaving the arena between frames, hoping just to get some sort of ch proper chance in frame three. That's what he needs. Trump in control here in Brentwood, leading 2-0. Leads 2-0. So only best of seven, so this third frame is a big one for Selt, really. But <laughs> it's all very well saying he's got to get involved. Firstly, he's got to see a ball. <laughs> does it get any better than that, does it? What a pot that was for your first pot. Right in the heart of the pocket. Great shot. Yeah, he was trying to get that cue ball all, all the way back down the table. There was only one red that would go, and I think that was to the right middle. Didn't get on it, so... Not going to pay the price, that shot. Although it should have been more, and he knows it.
just a reminder, after this match, it's Karen Wilson and Anthony McGill. And, of course, they've got previous that uh, epic Crucible semi-final in 2020 with that crazy last frame. John Higgins also in action against Dave Gilbert. Luca Brissell plays Pang Chung Yu. And Ross Muir, who knocked out Gary Wilson, will play Jamie Jones. Yeah, from where he was then, dead under the cushion. That's a very good return safety. No easy path back to Bork from there. He could take the long red on, leave the cue ball down by the black cushion. Expect him to take it on like that. So this is the chance for Matt Selt. there there's only just one red that will go to the left corner the one to the left of the pink he could decide to try and open the reds up that's an option played on the loose one well he can get to the black from this red four But look at that, all the reds covering one another. Power of that shot there. Now, is he on anything? Tremendous amount of power Twelve. on the shot to try and disturb something. <coughs> but doesn't look to be on one from that angle. Possibly one to the middle, but it's risky to take on. Yeah, good part. 13. Good part, and nicely on the black. He was leaving reds on to the middle. Had he missed that? Yes, yeah, especially as he was unlucky not to be on an easier one. But showing his metal there. And we'll be determined to focus now because it, it's been such an effort just to get in in this match. Now he's got to try and stay in and get involved in the in the contest. Oh. 
20. Oh, I think this red will cut to the left corner if you can see enough of it. It's a, a really thin cut, this. But if you can see it, it's worth having a go at. Got to get it, of course. Well, he either doesn't like it or he can't see it. Yeah, decided against it and don't Off blame him. I couldn't afford to go for it and miss it, that's for sure. Would have been 3 0 down and it would have been a hard, hard road back from there. He's not got the white tight to the cushion though, has he? Shuntering away. He's left a chance here. Oh, what a shot again. He's a great middle pocket player. Well, he's a great all round pocket player, but. Middle pockets, especially at that angle, at that speed. Great pot. But as David said, he shouldn't have been allowed to see that red. The cue ball should have been tied to the cushion. Oh, hang on. Foul. Well, that's a reprieve for Matt Sell. That could have easily been end of frame there. The table looking a lot more inviting now. This is why Snook is such an emotional roller coaster because Selt must have been thinking everything's against me, you know, it's not going to be my day. Suddenly something's happened out of the blue. <laughs> you seem to hit that rather hard. Didn't stroke it into the pocket. Oh, he lives again because I fancied him for that red. Yeah, it's just got a little bit ragged and so it's got to cling on to any mistake really from Trump. Yeah, I think both players are realising how big a frame this is. 3-0, 2-1, 2-1 right back in it, Matt Selt. And this is a golden chance. But that's not the best positional yes. shot. Four. I think he, he maybe thinks he's got a kick there. And that would explain why the cue ball's where it is. Oh, what a good recovery. There was plenty of pressure on that one. Could have lost the frame had he missed it. See the crowd there, these home nations, I think a terrific value. I mean, yesterday, 
we had 14 hours of snooker. You know, we started at 10, we finished at midnight. And there were people that I can tell you were here all day enjoying it. Get to see so many different well. faces, so many different matches. Yeah, and it's over pretty quickly, isn't it, best of seven? Normally. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't last night, but normally. It's over pretty quickly, and they can see a, a result. Thirteen. Nineteen. Twenty. So he has relied on a couple of Trump errors, but finally Matt Selt is where he wants to be. Potting balls, getting involved in the match. And although he's 12-3 down on the head, Ted, to Trump, he did beat him at the UK Championship in 2021. That was a high-profile win. No, they've known each other for a long time. They've been friends for a long time. He's not in awe of Trump. The problem is Trump's just such a good player. He, be he beats most people. Oh, Matt. Arthur Selt, 27. How do you explain that? <laughs> just a lack of concentration. I think he was trying to nick the red next to the pink, but concentrate on the pot. Oh dear, <laughs> what's going on this game? That's twice his miss with the rest. Well, it's a gift for Matt Selt. Well, that was a strange 30 seconds, wasn't it? Selt can't believe his luck here. He's still not safe and he's overscrewed that one. You would expect him to pot this, but there's pressure on this particular shot. Nicely done. Well, put it this way, Trump loses today, Selt nice. beats him, then that little moment there is massive because if Trump had got back into the frame, won the frame from there, then it would be very hard to see Selt recovering from it, missing such an easy ball himself, but he was allowed straight back in. Trump sort of looked up, don't know whether he felt he was 14. put off, but, I mean, all the home nation's events, and he's won plenty of them, they're always like this early on. There's multi-table, there's noise. It's just part of the atmosphere. Fifteen. Twenty-one. <laughs> he meant that one. Twenty-two. Sort of bludgeoned into the pocket, that. So, there was a bit of a twist three. in the tail there. Selt missing the straight red, then Trump immediately missing with the rest. And Selt delighted because he was already in front, and he has now won his first frame. He trails 2 1. So, Matt Selt on the scoreboard. Arthur Selt to break. Uh, an eventful third frame, 2 1 to Trump. The great snooker fan Kelly Barker tells me that. 
Oliver Lyons is actually staying with Matt Sell because lives locally. But they could play each other in the next round, so that could be awkward. Certainly if Ollie were to beat him, might be staying somewhere else for the rest of the week. <laughs> just about to say that. It could be out on the streets tomorrow. those kind of shots you're hoping the red is going to go safe hasn't been too successful with the rest so far and this is a difficult one I have to play it with a touch of side on the cue ball to avoid the reds yeah good pot one and there is a red that will go to the right corner if you can get on to it. Has he come far enough? Six. Seven. Yeah, just travelled a little bit too far for comfort. Wanted to play the blue, open the reds up. But it's a bit tricky from there. Yeah, it wasn't easy, for sure. And he's very fortunate Sam. to have gone into the reds and not left anything on for Matt Selt. I mean, we, we think Trump, if he takes a ball on, he's going to get it. But not easy, some of these shots. Yeah, I suppose the question for Trump is, you know, how long can he keep the intensity up? Three tournaments this season, three finals, won two of them. OK, there's been a week between this and Riyadh, but they're not playing a physical sport, but the mental focus you need to play top-level snooker is considerable. And if that starts to just waver a little, then there's clearly an opportunity for opponents. Yeah, because you're playing opponents that have put all the work in like you have and you know, they're trying their hardest to win so you only have to dip slightly and, you know opponent can jump on your mistakes of course you need that little bit of run as well and Judd Trump had some there Missing the blue to the middle, going into the pack and not leaving anything. That certainly helps. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't exactly full of the joys of spring after, <laughs> after his first victory over Lu Hongyu, but you could see... Despite that, he was determined to battle through, and that is a quality he does have. Even if he's not, doesn't feel he's 100% or close to it, he can battle, he can graft. He didn't really want to play that shot. He took a long time over it because he knew we were sending this red towards the left corner pocket 
And so it's already knocked one in more difficult than this. Similar type of shot. Yeah, didn't have the angle to pot it and miss the reds. So just the containing safety shot. Well, it was a bit short of pace, but it's landed in a good spot. Trump might be tempted into taking this long red on because the safety is difficult. He can't lay the cue ball up on the black cushion. There's a red just behind the black spot. But he's well aware if he misses the red, it could be end of frame. <laughs> well, can you believe that? Unbelievable shot. I did say it could be forced into taking it on, and look at this for a shot. And the side he had on the cue ball. Look at the side he had on the cue ball. Good kiss, you've got to say, but deservedly so. Four. Yeah, hasn't quite come far enough. The red's on to the middle, but difficult to see where the colour's coming from. Difficult to get to the black, which will only go to the left corner. Or the pink to the left middle. But he can get that cue ball into places that other players can only dream about. And I'll tell you what, six inches shorter, he was on the black. I think he was playing some kind of a kiss there, or expecting a kiss. Blue ball. Yeah, very close to pulling it off as well. Joe Trump, five. <laughs> well, badly hampered over the reds and played the blue, and that's just what he played.
Yeah, another very good safety. Playing off the reds thick. Opening the reds up, freeing the black. This looks good. Could have done without the kiss. Yeah, maybe a half chance here of getting the cue all in behind the blue. So it's become a bit of a battle, this match. Trump had that chance, didn't he, after Selt missed the red in the last frame. He was trailing at the time. He not saying he would have won the frame there, but he could certainly have made Selt think about the miss, but in fact he missed immediately himself with the rest. And now it's becoming a bit of a struggle. Albeit some good safety being played. Another good one here. Yeah, and the crowd appreciating the good safety. That looks to be a snooker. See a frame uh, has just come to an end there on table two, and uh, not quite sure who's won it. Maybe is that a re rack there? Or is the f I'm not sure what's happened there. I'll let you know. stuff here. Worth saying, we've not really mentioned tonight, Sean Murphy, Neil Robertson is the last match. I mean, that's uh, one to, to look forward to, real blockbuster last on. Of course, Neil Robertson, because he's not in the top 16, he's coming up against top 16 players in this round. But Sean Murphy, it's not the draw he would have chosen, I'm sure. It is 3-1 to see Joe Wee, by the way. That uh, The scoring was a little behind, but he did win that frame. And does that show it he's levelled up one inch with Ben Wollaston? Still 2-1 Oliver Lyons over Fan Jingyi. Well, has he spied a plant there? He's had a good look at it. The blue sat there waiting if it does go in. Oh, just caught the knuckle and he's pushed a red right over the pocket. Pink available to the middle. One. Oh, not the easiest of pots, this pink, and there is pressure on it. Yeah, good pot. Those are never easy across the nap of the table. Seven. Eight.
14. Fifteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Flat going back on to its spot in the moment. It just doesn't make things any easier, really. It was still going to the left corner. 29. 30. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. to hit that one. So another red and a pink or big colour would have been enough. Didn't need to disturb those four reds around in the black. Needs a big bounce. Forty three. Yeah, effectively frame ball. Forty three. I'd be disappointed with that. Yeah, it's turning into that sort of afternoon from, isn't it, where things are becoming a bit of a struggle. He's got a good lead here, but as you say, it should have been three one really. But we've seen this over the years in the home nations with Trump. He doesn't always start tournaments brilliantly, but he, he grafts through, and then, of course, by the end, that's when we see the fireworks. Uh, chance to open these reds up here, try and get in behind the brown, yellow. And that's another very good safety from Matt Selt. And that's what he was scared of. He's got to cover it. I don't think he has. Well, he has. Uh, Maybe able to swerve around it. But I can't think of another shot he's got. Yeah, and the table's opened up a bit. These reds have come into play a bit, so it's quite a big shot, this, and all round. Maybe slower would have been better, just pushing the red to the left side cushion. This is a chance.
Yeah, good wow. pot. Now, can he cut the blue? It appears not. If he can, the blue's the ball. He can attack the reds from the blue. That's the path. Good shot. Needs a little kiss. Not like that. Not like that. And that could have been a disaster. Six. It's not good where it is, but it's better than going in. It's funny, isn't it? Because all these guys love the game until they absolutely hate it. <laughs> but you've got to try and keep your discipline if you can. Well, I think self six. Not easy, clearly. That last shot. The red does come away from the pocket. Yeah, he's turned it into a difficult pot, hasn't it? And he needs a colour from it. So, another chance for Matt Selt. It's not easy. Very tight, these pockets. Now, I've got to get onto a colour to be able to get to the next red. And that's not the best angle what? to get to the next red from. That's a brilliant shot. In fact, he's overdone it. Sam. Oh, I feel self what a chance Sam. that was. Yeah, that could be one of the real key shots of the match, he, as you say, got a chance that he maybe was not expecting and then he'd be really annoyed with himself missing that. So, 24 minute, very cagey frame, Trump needs red and colour for 3-1. And I think the frustrating thing for Celt is Trump's not clearly at his brilliant best, but he's just getting, it would seem, enough chances. He needs this pink. And it's two snookers required. Judd Trump's highest break today, 48. Sam. Selt, though, is down at 27. Judd Trump. And there Seven. again, the discipline <coughs> putting Selt in a snooker when he needs to himself. Cue ball went closer to the bot corner than he would have liked.
Juan. Well, if he pops the blue, he'll need two four-point snookers to tie. And, of course, the black not in a great spot, really, in terms of winning the frame eventually. Maybe to lay a snooker, but anyway, needs this in first. Yeah, the brown and yellow in a good spot, but he's just shot the pace there. I'm not letting up, Judd Trump. Oh, yeah, seven. and he's hit the black, so Judd that Trump. is that. Thank yeah, you. it was uh, a scrappy frame. 28 minutes, Judd Trump has trudged through it. And he's within one of victory here and a place in the last 16. He leads Matt Selt 3-1. Thank you. Well, not the most uh, aesthetically pleasing frame we've ever seen, but Judd Trump won it. That's all he cares about. Of course, 3-1. He leads Matt Selt, so needs one more frame to reach the last 16. In terms of single-session matches in ranking events, so matches of one session, he's not lost one since February, Trump, the Players' Championship. He's lost a couple of two-session and three-session matches, but these shorter ones, he just finds ways. Yeah, good escape, two cushion escape. Yeah, and the best of sevens are supposed to be levelers, aren't they? But <laughs> it's, another, it's not a leveler with Trump, is it? No, and he's won quite a few in deciders, and that's the thing where, however long the match, you've still got to get over the line. And, you know, various players have struggled to do that against him. Nine finals. In these best of sevens and won six of them. Reminder, after this match, it'll be Karen Wilson, the world champion. In fact, the only man to beat Trump this season in Jan against Anthony McGill, who we don't seem to have seen much of, of late, but had a 140 yesterday. Very cagey from Marcel. Could have played off the reds, but he realises that it's a point of no return. If he leaves one sticking out, could be his last shot.
So, chance here for Trump to open the reds up. And we could try and get him behind the yellow. Shorter pace. And that's better. Good shot from Zelt. <laughs> Close. Close, unfortunate to have not left anything on. It was a great effort, wasn't it? With the long rest. And it stays on the lip of the pocket. A gift for Judd Trump. One. Does he play for one of the loose reds or does he try and go into the pack of reds? Trying to go into the reds. And if he can Three. put the red to the left middle, it's not a disaster, that shot. Fortunate, you've got to say, led to go into the reds. Couldn't have dropped any better on that red. Eleven. Uh, he could play for the blue here to go into the reds from. Black also available. Well, it's going to be all on this shot, you would think, if he lands on a red here. Could be end of frame a match. And he's on one. He generates so much power he goes into the reds. Doesn't like the angle on this red to the middle. But he could leave himself a long blue to the corner if he can't get the right side of it. 18.
20 Well, if he does come through, I'm sure we'll hear from him. I suspect he'll say that he maybe didn't enjoy the match in terms of wasn't the sort of flowing contest that he likes. 24. But one thing he does enjoy is winning. Simple as that. And if he comes through here, he gets to go again in the last 16. Not every match is going to be, you know, centuries and extravagant shots going in. Sometimes you've got to sort of roll your sleeves up, just get the job done. He's got the chance to do that here, and he can end on a high. If he can win it in one visit, then he'll feel 31. good, I'm sure, to get it won without any more drama. 32. Yeah, he was unfortunate, Matt Self, to leave that red right on the lip of the pocket. Thirty-nine. Forty. Fearing the worst, I'm sure. Forty-seven. Well, he's going to need to disturb the Reds at some stage if he's going to win the frame a match at this visit. Like there is a red that will go just by the pink spot. 55. It doesn't want to play the pink next shot if he plays for that red. 56. Well, again, choices. Does it go into them or play for that loose red? Hasn't worked out. Just didn't catch him full enough. So he may yet come back to the table. Easy enough to skim off the reds, but he's looking to put a red safe. Give himself some insurance. Jed Trump. So 61. 61, Trump's highest break of the match, but not yet over this. There's still a possible 75 on. Take your seats as quickly as possible, please. Well, a few people just uh, come into the arena. As I say, the home nation has always been the same. It's always been multi-table. There's a lot happening until we get to Friday, when, of course, it all changes. We go down to one table, two in the evening for the quarterfinals. So it's a bit of a scramble to get through these best of sevens and try and still be here. And if you are, then obviously you fancy your chances seriously. And well, that is not the best safety he's ever played. But can Matt get through to this red nearest pocket?
One. Yeah, good cue, Pat. Screwing that cue ball back. Giving himself choice of black or pink. Yeah, good pot. But Trump's safety has been so good today, but one poor shot has given himself a serious opportunity here. We know Trump knows better than anyone how clearances can be decisive after the last tournament. Yeah, just one awkward red hey, really. in the left side cushion. One on the black cushion. Not a gimme either. Nine. Uh, chance to bring that safe red into play here. He's left himself the angle on purpose. Fifteen. Sixteen. And well, that's okay. You'd expect him to pop this blue or pink. This match isn't over yet. Doesn't want the cover. And that's okay. 22. It's in his hands. It's a chance he may well not have got. Trump played to disturb the race, didn't he, on 61, just didn't land on one. If he had a done, it'd be over, I'm sure, this match by now. Yeah, just a little short of pace, and that's turned this red into a difficult pot. A real pressure shot, nine. this now. It wasn't the best positional shot oh, had he sure. played from red, from pink to red. That was a really good chance. Um, is this a free ball? Foul, and a miss. Four, Matthew Selt. Oh, I don't think he'll put it back. Be in deep trouble next time round. Well, chance of getting the cue ball in behind the black here. Just got to be careful he doesn't push that red over the yellow pocket. Mm, just not hard enough.
Yeah, so just having a little uh, chunter away there. Getting tense. So uh, three two to see Joe Wee there on the left hand table against Jiang Zhan. They've had a lot of problems with the scoreboard there. It's been sort of stop starting, which obviously doesn't help the players. And that's gone all wrong. But if he's finished up reasonably okay pushing the red to the bought cushion made it just that little bit more difficult no attempt at the pot this is what he played, and what an excellent shot it was. There's no idea what's happening to the red. But it could have gone a lot worse, couldn't it? a risky shot to take on and he's left a possible double if he attempts it easy enough safety I think at first he was concerned that red was going to be over the middle didn't quite travel So, 28 the lead for Trump. He's had the chance already to put it away, broke down 61. Celt had the chance to clear up, Mr. Red. I'm pleased to see a red near the right side cushion. He only needs a red 
on the black to move his opponent needing snookers. And this could be it. The most sarcastic lovely you'll ever hear that. He's uh, concerned, as you say, this could be the end. One good pot from Trump required. No. And as he covered the pocket with the pink, anxious looks there from Judd. He's covered it. And that's how we'll be thinking what's he done wrong, but he should be thankful the red hasn't gone in. gone all wrong and this time it's Max out who gets a bit of good fortune although he could be in deep trouble in just a moment one yeah, and it's going to be deep trouble for Matt Selt now. Doesn't need to take a pot on. He'd like to push a colour safe. Mm -hmm. But this is an important snooker. Jack Trump. One. Got to hit it. Got to get it safe. Yeah, exactly. Can't afford to leave the pot on. He's hit it. Well, you wouldn't say it's safe against with Trump taking the shot, but that's pretty good. Well, if you can knock it in, sell requires snookers. Not taking it on. No, and I don't blame him. The way the balls are situated, had he missed it, it could have been end of frame. I think the Trump of yesteryear would have took it on for sure. <laughs> but he's a more complete player now, Trump. Yeah, him and he wants it over. <laughs> Doesn't want any more frames. It's been a bit of a struggle overall, hasn't it? Just one half century. And that was in this frame, which is still not yet his. Yeah, and although there's 29 points in the game, it's just one shot. If the red is left on, the clearance is there. Oh, an MS for Judd Trump. So, that'll be going back, you suspect, and he can't afford to miss it again, of course because he's now 33 behind, so he misses again, he needs one himself. So this is real sort of boa constrictor stuff, isn't it, from Trump? He's just squeezing and squeezing until he, he gets over the line. I think it was close to the blue, wasn't it, Dee? Check out for me, please, Matthew. Well. Yes. Everybody's you. happy. Well, he'll be taking this one on for sure. But there is pressure on it. The red effectively for victory for Trump. Well, 
Yeah, plenty of pressure on it, and what a good kiss that was. I think that was a slight raise of the hand. Well, I mean, it was not a smooth strike, was it? But like you say, it's had a bit of fortune. A lot of spots here for snookers, so, you know, this, if Matt Selt can get him in trouble, then this could turn, yet. Yeah? Got a good cue ball in front of the yellow, but he's having a real go at himself again. Yeah, it's hampered. But the red's in. Well, and the handshake comes. Four one sounds like a handsome victory. It was a bit of a struggle at times, but Judge Trump is just hard to beat. He's played 18 matches this season and he's won 17 of them and he's into the last 16 of the English Open beating Matthew Selt by four frames to one.